Okay, so here goes a quick little video. I am not going to film the common areas because I'll just show those to you in person. By the way, there's some treat, some dessert left for an element of surprise. So this is the front door. Um, and we come in and uh, this is the entryway, looking into the living room uh, with the two large kind of palladium style windows. And then this big opening with the steel structural post, um, there was actually a doorway originally to the dining area on the left of that steel post. And then to the right of the steel post was a solid plaster wall with the molding panels. And the architect opened it up, I guess sometime in the 1970s. So it opens up to a big area. This is originally the main living area. And then behind what would have been that wall is uh, a den area. And then over here is dining. And this large kind of semi-rounded thing is a custom bookshelf with the architect design that they're gonna be removing. Either donating to somebody or demo, but it's also on the other side. So this is the dining space. That's the den space that will have a TV and a couple of day beds for guests. And then the living area. And then this is the entryway that I showed you that we came on, came inside through. So, uh, so over here is the kitchen, a doorway that's going to be moved to the left back to its original location. And the kitchen has a 1950s steel cabinet thing going on. So right here, um, the kitchen's a full demo. Right here will be floor to ceiling. Uh, pantry cabinets with a built-in integrated refrigerator. And then this is a service door out to the service staircase and fire escape. And back in the kitchen, uh, this will be a galley kitchen on two sides. The cabinets below the sink go away and that will just be open so you can get right up to the window. And then there'll be a galley kitchen on both sides, uh, the cabinets on this side, where the sink in the 1950s KitchenAid dishwasher is, will run all the way past this current door opening. So it'll be around an eight foot long galley kitchen on both sides um, with the gas range there. And then there are not gonna be any wall cabinets, they're just gonna be open shelves. So we'll have uh, floor cabinets, open shelves, and then on the back of the room will be floor to ceiling, pantry and storage cabinets, including the built-in refrigerator. So then this way we go through the living area. There's a tiny, I don't even know if you call this a hallway. It's a hallway at, um, this is the master bedroom. And it's got one Palladian window. Um, the radiators here are gonna get replaced. So one Palladian window, this one looks out actually into the colony in the back of the building. So it has this view of this really beautiful, um, they're not Ionic, Corinthian columns. And then that 1920s big hanging coach lamp. And then this side uh, looks down onto the colony patio, which is a nice view and potted ferns and all that good stuff. Um, so back in the bedroom, uh, this one, since it's on the first floor, has a little extra closet that I guess will be, I don't know. And then this is a walk-in closet that's about eight or nine feet deep. And so all the shelving is going to get demoed out of there and I'm going to have some German shelving put in that's modular for closets and hanging. It will be nice in there um so all that gets cleaned up and then there's another little built-in cabinet there two feet deep that gets blown out and then that will be those built-in german shelves as well so it'll be like a a gentleman's wardrobe closet in there so that's the bedroom oh and all the floors are white oak so you can start to see a little bit um, of the stain and everything there's still some stain left on that wood but it will be kind of a white gray silver white oak floors. Um, over here is just a simple bathroom. 
Uh, I got to decide whether I'm just going to do a wall hanging sink, the porcelain one, and then shelving to the right of it or what I'm doing. Uh, but this is the bathroom. Um, that black tile on the counter is actually going to run from floor all the way up to the current tile line. And then from that current tile line up, there's going to be mirrors all the way around. That little 1970s uh, recessed light uh, soffit comes out. So it'll be a mirror all the way up to the ceiling with the mirror hanging over the tile for the sink. And then there'll be, um, I gotta decide whether it'll be a tub or just a walk-in shower. It'll have a waterfall shower head from the ceiling and then one on the wall that rises up and down. Uh, and then the tub controls are gonna be there on the left. And then this is the 1922 built-in toilet that gets updated. And the floors in here are going to be that terrazzo. And I'm gonna look for this onyx for if I do a built-in kitchen counter or bathroom counter to have that. So that's the bathroom. And then back to the little hallway, looking into the bedroom, you turn around and there is a closet. And this gets all demoed out um, for laundry. So there'll be a stackable front load washer on the left of this far wall and then a built-in wall sink for um, like a utility laundry sink and then over here will just be floor to ceiling German shelving and all that good stuff so it's going to be like a nice little tiny luxe little laundry utility room and that is a tour of Sofian Plaza 1D 4618 Warwick Boulevard Kansas City Missouri 64112 Ciao.